Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Kenneth. Kenneth, what do you do in Arsenal? Um, I'm a sales associate here at Fashion Express. Thank you. And then, um, you know, it's Cancer Awareness Month, and we're trying to get some um, in insight about uh, what people think about cancer. Do you think that we've got enough information available for the cause of cancer? No, you see, um, I don't think we, the, the, um, 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 how can I say, the government, or they're doing enough when it comes to um, cancer, they're advertising. Like AGC, um, everybody's aware of, of it's because yes. they, they, they got life, love life, yeah. and all this stuff. But when it comes to cancer, I think they're doing too less for the community. They must, they must be more involved, you see, with the community. Yes, People actually. must come out and come talk to the people. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You see? Definitely. Um, I'm sure there will be more opportunities created and um, I'm sure we'll see some results somewhere along the line. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kenneth. Okay, thank you very thank much. Okay. Uh, I'm Irene Miller. Irene Miller, what do you do in Eisner? Uh, I'm working at Miladies in Eisner and I'm the 2IC at Miladies. That's great. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to see what people's feelings are around awareness of cancer. Do you think that um, the government's actually reached the potential of um, making people aware of, not, of, of cancer itself and actually um, for you know, making information more accessible to people about cancer? Uh, I would like the people of NISNA to do uh, that people be more aware of cancer and even of uh, kidney um, awareness because I think locally they're not aware of um, uh, donating Yes, so. um, basically getting campaigns running and yeah. making people a bit more, you know, sensible of what's going on around those diseases and that kind of thing. Yes, I would like to do that they could do more uh, uh, campaigns in Eisner. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Roderick Peterson. Roderick, what do you do in Eisner? I'm the IT technician for logic computing. That's great. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're going around NISA, not just NISA, um, asking anyone, uh, do you think there is enough awareness around cancer in South Africa? In South Africa, not enough, because if you walk around, even if you see on TV, not enough ads, not enough people knowing what cancer so is. Just more ad campaigns and uh, no, basically... Ad campaigns. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee, what do you do in NISA? I run a coffee shop. Chapins on Grey Street. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to see what people think about cancer awareness. Do you think that we have enough publicity concerning that matter? No, I don't. You can never have enough publicity about such causes. And would you have any ideas of how to go about doing such campaigns? I say we should get a whole bunch of bikers to dress up in pink leathers and flowers in their hair, and we do a whole bikers rally and raise money and awareness and yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I know that you've got existing problems with your son, unfortunately, in hospital. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to be done about that? And I know it's, it's been a long journey and that, that yes, you know... That I've got a son, he's still in Shaw Miller, and you've got a kidney problem since he was seven months old. And now he's 13 years old. He's, at the moment, he's at Red Cross Hospital. He's on uh, dialysis at home. He's got his own machine. And... Um, they removed the one kidney last year in Feb, so uh, he's sitting with another problem. The, the other kidney is not working at all, so he's uh, apparently he's just um, uh, on his machine. And now from all the medication that he uses, he, um, he's starting to get uh, death, so uh, he must get hearing aids as well. So that's a big problem, and I would really like people to come in numbers come forward in numbers to help us and not for me and my son but there's a lot of families that really got problems and i would really like the people of nice to but help us just to come together and actually come up yeah. solutions solutions and uh, uh hold meetings and whatever and and that will help and and uh, or support group start a support group here in nice and uh we can help each other, you know. Uh, There's always time for improvement. Thank you so much, Irene. Um, thank you.